right, today I'm going to uh, show you guys a really special, very cool car. I love this car because this is a 1965 Austin Mini Cooper S. This car was created in October of 1965 in tartan red with the black top, the red and gold brocade interior. It has the hydroelastic suspension. In 1965, the North American left-hand drive models, they only made 1,324. That's it. These are rare cars. So a Mark I Austin Mini Cooper S left-hand drive 1275 with hydro. It even has the fresh air heater ooh, and the optional right-hand gas tank, which was an option. You had to order it or ask for it, and it was factory fitted with the fresh air heater and a right-hand gas tank. Not all of the Minis, the Cooper S's came with right-hand gas tanks. A lot of people believe that only the Cooper S had the right-hand tank, but it was an option and some Cooper S's did not come with a right hand tank. So that is not a telltale sign of a real S or not. So usually that's the case because most of them did get the right hand petrol or fuel tank. So uh, this car was brought to us by our friend Bob Nato. He bought it on Bring a Trailer and about the second or third day that he had it, the transmission let go. And he called me up and said, well, I was going to bring it to you anyway. So it looks like sooner than later, let's go do everything. I, this is my dream. Uh, I've always, uh, back in the 60s, I had a Mini and I sold it, but if I could do it over again, I'd just trick it out and just build it the way I wanted to. So let's just uh, have a lot of fun and build something really fast, really cool. And well, that's what we've done here. So come on in here and let's take a look and I'll give you the grand tour and show you what we've done to this beautiful little car. All right. Ooh. Look at that gorgeous piece of candy. Yeah, all right, so this is a real S motor. The old tagger on the block says 9FSAY, that's a good sign. Uh, these large freeze plugs uh, slash core plugs are very large in diameter, that's a good uh, sign. Also the tappet covers, if you see tappet covers on the back of the block and it's a 1275, more than likely it's a Cooper S motor. It all has, also has the 11 stud 12G940 cylinder head, um, or it's an AEG163, uh, but this one's a 940. And you torque the cylinder head nuts down to 42 foot-pounds, but not this bolt. This is a bolt, and these are all nuts. That's torqued to 25 foot-pounds. Uh, that'll distort the thermostat housing area if you over torque that bolt. That's why that one only goes to 25. So, But what are some of the things that we did? Of course, we used all of the jet motors, signature, uh, master kits that we've designed from the intake, to single inch and three quarter. Now you purist out there, please don't get on my case. It had a set of wiped out old inch and a quarters on there. We could have put that on there, but Bob and I discussed it and he said he wanted reliable, simple, easy, and this is a wonderful carburetor. Uh, he has the original carburetors, he has the original air cleaner, so you know, let's leave it at that. We can put it on later, but for now we're just running the single inch and three quarter with a Manaflow LCB to his favorite. You got to see this. He went to Europe and he actually purchased this Abarth exhaust. So he was in love with this Abarth exhaust and I think he bought the car because he already had bought the exhaust system knowing he was going to put that exhaust on whatever Mini he ended up owning. So the exhaust came before the car. <laughs> Way to go, Bob. Another thing about that Abarth exhaust, I said, Bob, you really like Abarth stuff? He says, yeah, oh yeah, Abarth's my style. Come here, you got to see this. I said, you know, I just happen to have a set of Chromadora Abarth wheels with the Red Center Scorpion caps, and I think if we wrapped them in some of the Dunlop uh, R7s, that would just be the coolest, and I did. I put them on there, and he lost his mind. I did, too. These wheels and tires look perfect with this car. The red, the Abarth exhaust, the Abarth wheels, that's cool. So come on back here to the motor. You'll see that we did our signature alloy cooling system kit here. We've got the billet oil filter head with the start light oil feed hose, ultralight flywheel and backplate, uh, jet Hitachi starter and the Protronics electronic ignition, uh, jet heater valve, uh, continuous, there's no valve, it's just always going through the heater core. Um, and we just tried to make it as beautiful, clean, and sanitary. We took about, I don't know, 13 miles of added extra wire out of this thing. Oh, it was a rat's nest. Anyway, that's all gone now. 
We did install uh, one of our favorite bad boy air horns. Take a listen to this. <laughs> Man, that is a great loud horn for a little car. You got to do that. Uh, it's got a, this really cool Benelite grill with the integrated rally lights. We did our favorite European license plate mount on the front just to help tidy up the nose a little bit. Uh, we did some Hella H4 headlight housings, which are flat on the face with some aux beam LED bulbs inside. Very bright, uh, puts a lot of less stress on the uh, headlight switch when you do go to LEDs. You don't have to run a relay, so kind of cool there. We did the uh, GT300 uh, or Downton style rear view mirrors. Again, we didn't use any brackets. We didn't drill any holes. We went through the sliding glass front window, modified the bracket or the latch to accept the bolt and the nut so that it's very stable now, it's very solid, uh, and it slides with the window, but believe it or not, it still stays so that you can see. So it's kind of cool uh, coming out the, the hole of the window there. As you can see on the interior here, it's all Cooper S. We got the 120 mile an hour speedometer with the pointed bezels, the pointed bezels on the water temp and the oil pressure. Of course, the old Bakelite knobs, the old original Mark I heater control, and check this out, the genuine wood rim Motolita steering wheel with functioning horn push and right and turn, left turn signals with the bulb on the end of the stock that does cancel. So uh, kind of some cool stuff, some old vintage stickers and dash plaques, uh, you know, showing its age, of course, which is super cool. Um, the bro gold brocade interior, just some of my favorites, just a really cool car all the way around. The hydro suspension is all pumped up. It's uh, just a, almost to the stock pressure of 340 PSI. We, we dropped it a little bit to get a better stance on it. But overall, the car is done. It's ready. And now I think we should go for a ride. Don't you? Let's get in. Mm -hmm. 